What's up, my people? Back on channel, cruising through life. Man, I hope y'all are doing well right now. I know it's been almost about a month since I posted, but hey, man, wait. I got some bangers that I'm going to post from what I'm doing today and in the future. Well, I'll see it later on this week because I got some bad news I need to break to y'all. But hey, we get to that later on. This video will be in very informative as the title says and the thumbnail but anyway until then let's go ahead and get a little cold start you know what i'm saying cold start kind of right now with the camera and we got the radios on the back i mean i'm just acting bad let's a little bit let's a little smidge but let's get to it headphone users beware Let's get to it. In today's video, we will be covering on how to replace the headlight bulbs in a 2013 Chevrolet Cruze, but also how to remove the front bumper, because that's the only way to do it. I do have aftermarket headlights, but that is fine, and I'll put description of what type of headlights I have in the description section. May also, I'm gonna ask y'all if y'all have any aftermarket headlights or what kind of mods y'all have done to your Cruze or vehicle in general. But yeah, so let's get to it. I'm gonna start from the top section of the car. We're gonna remove these these bolts one and two, but also these tabs right here. I do have this tab remover, but you can use a flathead screwdriver. Uh, big ones, a longer one is better preferred, but and then you get the job done. So let's get to it. So you need to use a tin sock or a tin wrench to remove it. All right, that's good. Take that one off. Now we can go to the second one. Sweet. Yeah, so these tabs are pretty easy to remove, in my opinion. Uh, let's pull it up. Pull this out. Oh, pull this out. And sorry, it's so much difficult when you try to record while doing this, but. Honestly, just pull it out like that. It's easier. And just keep doing to the, the rest of them. You need this one, this one, and the one right there as well. All right, so now after that is loose, you want to turn your left wheel or your driver wheel far to the left or far to the right. And we're going to get these three screws right here. Uh, you see that's one of them. You have a second one. You have a third one up there. And that's what we call for a T20. Make sure to do the other side as well all right so one thing that i'm missing is my underguard portion um usually when we look underneath for cruise you'll see it but clearly mine is missing just because bad luck and just hit stuff in the road really uh, like you see that's dangling a little bit <sighs> but anyway um the same thing i have to y'all uh, use the t20s to remove certain things are on top of the car you'll be using the same things here underneath here as well like for example and just remove those and once you complete those um removals we can move on to the side of the portion of the car which you're about to do now and also make sure when you jack on this car please be safe um you jack sands as possible um well jack sands is really preferred honestly uh, you shouldn't be getting on this car anything at all and also you might have to remove some pieces right here some t20s as well uh mines are removed um they got my zip ties <laughs> But yeah, um, you will see the bolts underneath there that you're gonna have to remove. One right there, and probably another one or two on the other side as well. And same thing on that side. But yeah, so let's move to the next step. All right, so while I was doing it, I meant to show y'all on this side, but also on this side it came out really easier than than I thought. But I raised the bumper back up real quick. Uh, so really, hold on. All right, so. You're gonna have to take the size of your bumper off. Um, but to be able to do that, you have to pull this apart a little bit. And as you pull in, spreading this part, you want to jam something in there. Or, yeah, you have to jam something just to split it apart. I use these hard plastic 
removal tools and use a screwdriver to get the little prongs from underneath this side right here you can see right there do not break them like do not press the arc you it's easy to break these but once you get them off like you have to split apart and use a screwdriver to press down on the tabs and you can be able to pull it off um i definitely try to do a better description of it when i put the car back together but yeah and after that your bumper literally start falling off so see just like that and now once you do that you got fog lights like me uh and also you got your side markers just gonna start unplugging them simple as that you got fog lights right there and the same thing on the other side as well all right so unfortunately it's raining right now but that's fine so you're gonna need a seven to remove the, this one that one and i believe it's one more oh yeah right there on the side and the same thing on the other side as well and let's use this right here so technically you don't have to remove your fall light stuff like that but if you want to remove the bumper completely you definitely have to okay so once you remove those three screws i'll need for you to actually locate this portion of your headlights well it won't look like this but it'll look like a different backside. but you'll be able to actually see what i'm talking about so you remove this and you pull out the bulb in it and use the new bulbs that you got. So y'all wouldn't believe what happened. I got had the wrong bulbs for the car. So yeah, so H13, right? It worked for the stock headlights, right? So you got the stock headlights. You don't even have to take the bumper off, stuff like that, et cetera. You can grab it, put your, put your hand in there, bam. So really, we're going this side. So you had the stock headlights. You'd be located right here. You pull, you rotate your bulb out. Booyah. You just change out just like that. But with these babies, um, you gotta take the headlight out uh, so you'll be able to access this portion of right here. So your new ball goes right there. This guy shines right there as well. So yeah, that's a fun fact for you. Uh, but yeah, that's mainly showing y'all how to take the front bumper off. Damn mosquitoes. Uh, how to take the front bumper off and stuff like that as well. Hope you are enjoying the video so far. If you are, go ahead and like this um, video. Also comment in the comment section. And even subscribe to my YouTube channel. I truly appreciate it. And that's gonna conclude this video, folks. I know it's basically nighttime out here, but hey, finish changing the headlights on the cruise and stuff like that. I'm excited about it. Yeah, I mean, there were a lot of issues with it, honestly. <laughs> but oh well, gotta overcome adversity all the time. But anyway, people, thank you for watching. Until next time, keep cruising through life. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like the please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're not, I really appreciate y'all. Like I said, the next video is going to be very, very important. Um, hopefully you can see me a little bit. It's going to be very important. So stay tuned. Keep watching. Keep grinding. Keep cruising. Until next time. Keep cruising through life, people.